Hello, welcome back, tuning into our second update for Easter 2018. So, we did the first update for Easter um, on Sunday evening. Pretty cool, pretty changeable, in fact, at times quite cold update it was too. Um, so, we said we've got to do more updates to see whether that trend continued. What actually happened was that the first part of the update was quite cold and unsettled, but then the second half of the update, second half of the Easter period, sort of East Sunday and Easter Monday, did look a little bit uh, mild, a little bit warmer, uh, and not quite as unsettled. So, we said that was just our starting point, we've got to wait and see whether that is a trend that we continue with, or whether uh, maybe uh, the GFS model shifts to something else. Bearing in mind, this is all in the extended range of the uh, GFS model at the moment. So it's unreliable. We are waiting to uh, get the trend of the model and then be able to firm upon the detail, which, we'll, we, which we will be able to do uh, next week. So I'm going to run you through uh, Easter for uh, this second Easter update in a second. Just say that today's first video had a look at whether next week, 10 days, and also the uh, CFS V2 for the next month, have a look at that and see what you think the video is on the home page. So begin by having a look at the uh, weather for Wednesday. This is Wednesday 28th of March, just to set the scene of what's happening as we're building up towards uh, Easter. So we've got this low pressure moving across the country and out into the North Sea uh, next Wednesday, which is turning winds into a northerly direction. Quite a cold northerly wind is moving down. Uh, from the north. So this is the upper air temperatures for Wednesday looking quite cold as this low pressure exits out of the North Sea. <coughs> Excuse me, these northerly winds could be bringing uh, wintry showers to the northern and eastern parts of the country. Precipitation forecast is looking like bad. It does look as though northern and east areas could have showers. They might be wintry as well with the wind in from the north. There's our temperatures for uh, next Wednesday. So a cold day up in the north. Temperatures just one, two, three degrees across many parts of uh, Scotland and Northern England. Northern Ireland is around five or six. Further south, southern and central parts of England and Wales coming out around seven to nine. Uh, but that is below average for uh, late March. Then we go through to Thursday. This is Maundy Thursday, of course, with low pressure just sitting around the country. It's quite a flabby uh, type feature. The upper air temperatures are looking cold. You'll notice the minus 10 isotherm is lurking both to the north and to the east of the British Isles again. Um, and generally we are within uh, really quite a cold air mass for Maundy Thursday. And there are showers being generated uh, within this area of low pressure and with uh, cold upper air temperatures, particularly for northern Britain, those showers could be wintry. There's our temperatures for uh, next Thursday. So... Barely above freezing across parts of Scotland and the north of northern England. You'll notice we have got potentially an ice day going on up there. Maybe a little bit over the top that. Um, but certainly a cold day. And come further south into England and Wales, talking about temperatures of just sort of 3 to 7 degrees. So quite a cold day. Highest temperatures down on the south coast. Certainly significantly colder than average for the time of year. Uh, this is Good Friday. Uh, a 10 days away, this, so we are now moving into the unreliable time frame of the GFS model. That low pressure is shifting away towards France, and it's beginning to turn the winds into an easterly uh, type direction again. So still cold, with the wind beginning to move into the east, but minus 10 isotherm is starting to move onto the east coast of uh, England and Scotland. That is, <coughs> excuse me again, bitterly cold air pushing in. Uh, from the east. There's the, t there's the precipitation for Good Friday. A mainly dry day, but snow showers are being signalled for northern and eastern parts of the country. And there's the temperatures. They do look very, very cold indeed for the end of March. So barely above freezing across much of Scotland, northern England, northern Ireland at just two or three degrees. Uh, down into Wales and the Midlands, just two or three degrees. Those are very unusually cold temperatures for so late uh, in the year, in the spring. Um, even on the south coast, we're only around four to six degrees. So a really cold Good Friday being signaled there. This is uh, Saturday, Easter Saturday, if you like, and we're under a little bit of a flabby ridge of high pressure, ahead of low pressure developing in the Atlantic. The upper air temperatures are still cold, particularly so for eastern parts 
of the country. It's a mainly dry day, but you'll notice a mass of rain is lurking to the west of the island. We could have fun and games with that. Um, but through most parts of the country on Easter Saturday, it's a mostly dry day, but it's cold again. Temperatures in the south just four or five, uh, four or five, six degrees. In the north, again, Scotland and Northern England really struggling to get those temperatures much above freezing. Now, this looks very interesting. This is Easter Sunday. We've got a cold air mass established across the country and low pressure is trying to move in to that cold air from off the Atlantic. Look at the upper air temperatures and most parts of the country are still within cold upper air temperatures. It is a bit milder with that warmer set across island and the far southwest. Um, and there's all the precipitation piling in from the west. Now, this precipitation is moving into that cold air. And there's definitely a risk with that of really significant snow on Easter Sunday, would you believe? This is Sunday the 1st of April. Now, this is within the unreliable time frame of the GFS model. So don't be too alarmed about this if you've got anything planned for Easter Sunday. It's too far away to be definitive. But it needs watching because... Um, well, have a look at the temperatures. They're barely above freezing across most parts of the country. As that band of uh, rain moves in from the west, there's a definite risk of significant snow there on Easter Day. And then we move through to Easter Monday, and what's happening is that, if anything, high pressure is beginning to strengthen over Scandinavia, and it's causing the weather front and the low pressure that was trying to head in from, from off the Atlantic to stall across country. So there will be a weather front strung out through the British Isles. Upper air temperatures are still looking cold, not quite as cold as they are on Easter Sunday, but nevertheless still cold. And there's precipitation through the country. So that's rain, sleet, or potentially significant snow that's going on there from Easter Sunday through to Easter Monday. There are the temperatures in the south and southwest. We've got the temperatures up to 7 or 8 degrees. But really from Wales and the Midlands northwards, we're struggling to get those temperatures much above freezing. This is a very cold and very wintry Easter that we see here for this second Easter 2018 update. All I would say about it, again, is that it's a very long way off. So don't be overly concerned. Expect moderation from this. But as this update, if we take it on its own terms... It is going for a very cold Easter, and there is, at uh, the very least, a substantial risk of a significant snow event there between Easter Sunday through to Easter Monday. It's a long way off, so it can be expected to be moderated. Don't start thinking about changing your plans on this for Easter Sunday or Easter Monday yet, uh, because it's too far away have confidence in this. I know a lot of you will be watching this and you've got plans about going to the coast, might be going uh, to various events over the Easter period. So I don't want anybody to start cancelling events or being too concerned uh, because it's outside of a reliable time frame. But it does need, we do need to keep an eye on it. There will be more updates and hopefully, fingers crossed, this is going to moderate and we won't see anything quite as bad for Easter Sunday and Easter Monday, as that is suggesting with the GFS model tonight. The third update will be with you. We're um, Tuesday today, so the third update will be with you, uh, same time, same place, on Thursday. Right, don't forget, don't forget to check out today's uh, first video updates on the homepage, and tomorrow we've got 5 day forecasts and various other things coming up, so uh, keep checking back to the website. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.